Last time I did a video about how to add your Creality 3D printer to Orca Slicer, avoiding Creality Print because of the connectivity and some other little quirks, something like that. But now I realized you can actually directly connect Orca Slicer to your Creality 3D printer. Let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. Last week, I showed how you can add your Creality 3D printer to Orca Slicer instead of using Creality Print. There, I mentioned how I use a little workaround to send files over from Orca Slicer to my Creality 3D printer using the web interface. Because for a long time, it was not possible to use Orca Slicer to send those files directly over to your Creality 3D printer. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add a 3D printer to Orca Slicer and also making sure it is connected to the printer as well. So the next time when you are going to slice a model with Orca Slicer, you can send it directly over to your 3D printer. And so here we are in Orca Slicer 2.3.0. This is, so far as I know, the latest stable version. First, we are going to printer. We click on here, we scroll all the way down and then we select remove printers. This is the system presets. We click on it. So in here, we are using the search bar, uh, Creality, we press enter, and then we scroll to the printer that I want to add for this tutorial. In my case, the Creality and the 3 V3+. Plus. If you have a different one, you can use that one as well. But in order to follow with this tutorial, if you have a Creality 3D printer that is running Clipper, you can use this method as well. So we scroll all the way down and we are going to select the Ender 3 V3+. Plus. Well, I've got it here selected already. So I'm going to click on confirm because if I deselect it, it's going to be away. So we click on confirm and then normally the printer will be selected if you adding a brand new printer to this to this slicer. So I'm going to look for the V3 plus 0.4 nozzle and then I'm going to click on here the Wi-Fi icon. Go to your printer and check within the settings which kind of IP address you have. So that is going to be very important. So we click on it and then we get this little dialog and here you see directly copy okay so you are going to make a separate profile for the purpose of using wi-fi now with the host type you have to click on it because even though this is a clipper based 3d printer it's a different different kind of uh, firmware it runs so you are going to click on it and then you are going to look in here and you see Creality Print. On this note, the printer doesn't have to be connected to Creality Cloud in order to use it. So we are going to type in our IP address and then we are going to click on test. And here it says connected to Creality Print successfully. So we click on OK. We can choose for it to, um, to remove copy, but then it says overwriting a system profile is not allowed. So you need to uh, make a different name in order to use this. So I will call it Wi-Fi. It's different. So once this is done, we can test it again. Yeah, it's still going fine. We click on OK. Now to check if the connection is well established, we can click on device, but make sure to have the right printer selected. Click on device and we see here Creality Print, printer stop. I cannot really say which kind of printer it is because this says Creality Print. There are maybe some workarounds, some ways in order to overcome this little feature. But as you can see here, this is the Creality Ender 3 V3 Plus. I don't have a camera for this one, so you won't see any image. Now, for example, if you do have a camera connected to your Creality Printer, like in my case, the Creality K1, I'm going to switch over to the profile for this one. You see that the, the build plate changes. And then if I click now here on device, you will see that my last print was a chicken chucky from Peter Farrell. And as you can see here, we have the inside of the printer and also some other things that comes with the device settings. Like if you would go to the web UI in order to upload a model or do other things for this 3D printer. How does it work? Well, we are going to select the Creality and the 3v3 plus and we are going to select a model make sure always make sure to have selected the right type of filament i'm using a bamboo labs silk filament and pla fil filament so this one 
um, if I click on here I can select a color it is a purple kind of color something like that and I click on OK so now it's purple so I'm going to add a model since since this is a bigger printer I don't know how much filament I still have on the spool but uh, let's make this a little bit bigger let's make it 150 and i'm going for yeah this is a standard uh, please check which kind of system presets you have for this for this printer but these are some basics you can mess around with it if you would like to but i don't think it's so important because you know i don't care that much as long as it prints nicely and this is a faster printer this is a core xz printer i can also print it on the k1 it's a core xy printer in general it would be fast now if i'm going to click on enable support because i do want to have this print successfully being printed i'm going to choose for three supports and i'm going to go for the organic further i'm going to select on build plate only and then once i'm satisfied with all of these settings i'm going to click on slice plate in a normal situation you would like i said in the previous video about orca slicer and using creality 3d printers in this case once it is done make sure to have selected the right printer now i see that the print time is three hours and 31 minutes we are going to click on print and then it's going to send it directly over to the printer. So Minecraft Steve single color PLA three hours and 31 minutes decode upload and print. We are going to wait until the whole status bar is filled. Well, you know, it's going to upload it. Once that is done, the magic going to happen. It's completed. I'm looking to the printer and as soon as I saw that it was uh, being completed here in Orca Slicer, I see that the printer is going to get into action. So here we're going to click on device. Since it doesn't have any camera, which you can actually buy the, I believe Nabula uh, webcam you connect with it. Um, you, you can see the progress of the model being printed. Anyways, so far, this is how it goes. You can now actually send models directly over from Orca Slicer to your Creality 3D printer. It's not that hard and I wish I have seen this before because now it's an additional video but hey it doesn't really matter if you was using the same kind of method that I was using now you have time to do some other cool amazing stuff with your 3d printer